Let us look at proposition number 27 of book 11 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says to describe a parallelopipedal solid similar and similarly situated to a given parallelopipedal solid on a straight line. So basically what it means is we are given a straight line and we are given a parallelopipedal solid. We have to construct a similar parallelopipedal on AB. Remember here AB is not necessarily equal to CE. So when we say similar, this particular parallelopipedal, all its angles should be equal to the angles in this. And the lengths of the various sides or edges should be in proper proportion. So let's see how we can build such a solid. So first thing is we copy the solid angle at C contained by CE, CG and CF to A. And we have already seen how to make a copy of the solid angle at a given point on a straight line. So I will just take a shortcut and construct it. I will not take you step by step. For that, you please refer to the previous proposition. Now we have constructed this solid angle on A. Now look at this. We are given AB and in this we have CE and CG. So on this line we have to cut off a segment in such a way that CE is to CG is equal to AB is to this one and we know how to do that. So AK is the line segment that has to be cut off from this straight line. Now similar to that here we have CG and we have CF and here we have AK. So which means again CG is to CF is equal to AK is to what? That what has to be cut off from this. So again we know how to do that. So H and K. So now we remove these two lines. So now that we have cut off the required segments AK and AH, now we basically construct the various parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So in other words, we complete the parallelogram PH and we complete the solid. So let's do that. So now we just have to prove that they are similar. Now to prove that, remember we use proportions, right? We said EC is to CG as AB is to AK. And we use the proportion CG is to CF is equal to AK is to AH. Now we can combine these two proportions into a single one. We can say AB is to AK is to AH is equal to CE is to CG is to CF. So which means X equally we can say CE is to CF as AB is to AH as well. So now that we have the proportionality is clear. Let's look at the various parallelograms. Parallelogram GE 
is similar to parallelogram BK. Why? Because EC is to CG as AB is to AK. Angle BAK is equal to angle ECG. So, which means that these two parallelograms are similar. Parallelogram GF is similar to parallelogram HK. Again, CG is to CF as AK is to AH. And the angle between them is equal. Angle GCF is equal to angle KAH. So we can say that these two parallelograms are similar. Let's look at the parallelogram FE, the bottom one, is similar to BH. So here again, if you notice, CE is to CF as AB is to AH. And the angle between them is equal. So we can say that parallelogram FE is similar to parallelogram BH. So this face, the front face and the bottom face are similar in both the solids. Now, of course, the other three will also be similar to the other three in this solid. Why? Because if this is similar to this, or rather FG is similar to HK, but HK is equal to BN, and FG is equal to BE. Remember, I'm using equal. So this space is equal to this space. This space is equal to this space and FG is similar to HK. That means DE is similar to BL. Similarly, FD is similar to HL and GD is similar to KL. So, which means all the corresponding faces are similar. So, since all the corresponding faces are similar, that means the solid CD is similar to solid AL. So, basically what this means is, if I change the shape of this, correspondingly that will also change. I can change any one of these. And I can also change the length of AB. As you can see, the similarity remains irrespective of what I change AB to. So that is proposition number 27 of book 11 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you there is a link to a pdf book which describes all these propositions in detail please feel free to download it refer to it and if you think somebody else can also benefit from it please do share that's it for now